One, two, three. Smile! In the past, cameras were very big. Unlike these days, when you can record every precious moment with just a small cell phone. No matter how good they get, people still want to create that one camera that works just like the human eye. But why is that? Let's compare the human eye and a camera. This seems to be an unequal battle. It seems that both eyes and cameras look like a box with a small hole in it that allows light rays to pass through. Images transmitted from objects are displayed on the screen. However, for the image to be clear, we need to put a stretchable lens over that hole. This screen in the camera is called the sensor palette, while in the eye it is called the retina. Their size is the only thing they have in common. The biggest difference is that the sensor palette is flat, while the retina is curved. Thanks to their curved structure, the eye has very sharp angles, unlike the flat ones of cameras. Hooray, one point for eyes. There are many image sensing points on both the sensor palette and the retina. You may be familiar with the pixel. The more pixels, the clearer the image. In cameras, pixels are distributed evenly, which is about 30,000 pixels per square millimeter. These pixels gather at the golden point of the eye, which is up to 150,000 pixels per square millimeter, up to five times as many. However, the pixels are less dense in area further from the golden point. As a result, the eye sees clearly at the middle, but blurry around the canthus. And the eye can't get as clear an image as that of a camera. One point for the camera. Even though the amount of pixels are tremendous, the image quality transmitted to the brain is nothing compared to what our eyes can see. This is because the optic nerve is not large enough to transmit all that data to the brain. Moreover, brains would get overloaded processing that amount of data. Cameras can transmit all the captured image from the sensor to the microprocessor. This helps maintain the image quality. Wow, it seems that the camera is getting the advantage. But let's keep investigating. Humans have two eyes and each eye captures a different angle of the object, while the camera has only one eye. The brain processes the transmitted image from both eyes and combines them into one single 3D image, which helps us see even the depth of the object. The brain also sends out orders to the eyes about whether to roll around or focus on only one point to get a clearer image. Getting two points in a row, don't you think that the eyes win, cameras? After having a good understanding about the way our eyes work, people have developed capturing techniques that create images with an even higher quality than what our eyes can see. How wonderful it is! Now, let's say cheese! Subscribe our channel to get access to many other interesting videos.